What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host, the most Tom Boy. Double Unclutching Tom Boy TV. Welcome back. There you go. I hope that's slow enough for you guys out there that be complaining all the time about my intro. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another retail resource estimations for Supreme Week 18. Fall Winter 18. Now we got it right. So this week is honestly nothing crazy, nothing big. But check out this FTP hoodie I got. This is the reversible one from the November drop. Uh, if you guys, oh, I'm so gassed. I got the FTP undefeated one on the like shock drop, I guess you could call it. Oh, uh, they had some crazy shit. I got the pants and the hoodie. I was debating on getting the, I got the overprint hoodie and all overprint pants. I was debating on getting the hoodie, the one that just says undefeated FTP. Uh, but then I decided not to go against because I already spent way too much money. Bankrupt, legally. no money on my car. We got the teddy bear this week and I'm trying to cop multiples. So, you know, Teddy Bear's the biggest item this week, and other than that, it's looking all right. But there's still a lot of money to be made, so that's where we're going to run through the full drop list. But before I forget, make sure I enter the giveaway down below. So pretty much what it is, it's a collab with me and Caprima, a fellow YouTuber. It's about to end in two days or one days, and you guys will most likely get it a little bit after Christmas if you guys do win. There's a lot of entries going down, and I'm so grateful for you guys who did enter. And if you did, thank you so much. Uh, I hope, I wish I could give everybody something, but you know, it just doesn't work that way. Maybe one day. But it's pretty tough for me. And after this giveaway, I'll be giving away one of these Google Home Minis or some looting cough drops and then some more. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, before that, without further ado, let me get into my three. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention what we're giving away. We're giving away a Supreme Mini Box Logo t-shirt. It's black. It's a size large. Uh, it's all, If I'm not mistaken, it's almost dead stock. It might be slightly used or anything, but it's pretty much a $70 value retail. Uh, so it's there for you guys for free. All you got to do is hit, go in the link in bio, subscribe to both our channels, and check out my Instagram, and follow that. Thank you guys so much. So without further ado, I got three biggest announcements. As you guys know, I normally always have them. So number one, make sure to comment, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below for some good luck, some good karma. You know, you got to hit that box logo sweater on that teddy bear this week hit the box logo down below hit the subscribe button i appreciate you guys so much support has been unreal especially for these past like th three weeks man it's just been going crazy i appreciate it so much you know supreme season at the end once it's over it will slow down a bit but if you guys are still watching thank you guys so much and of course thumbs up if you guys appreciate this video because i do this for you guys to make the most money and of course that leads me into the next thing StockX is a great platform however that does not mean you have to undercut on every single item you know we sell these teddy bears over 700 we keeping it up there it's a rare ass teddy bear so thank you guys for that don't be undercutting like under a dollar for every single little item that's not a necessity you don't got to be doing that just wait the value will go up eventually don't be undercutting like everybody does especially on these winter teas y'all be y'all be on some shit i gotta say and of course my last one is my opinions i do say a lot of my opinions and i do say honestly a lot because honestly a lot of you do get butthurt out there and a lot of people do complain sometimes about like getting offended and shit so it's just life that's how it be going but anyways we're gonna get this computer out here check out that bob ross sticker you know what i'm saying it came with that supreme uh poster thrasher magazine so i'll move over to the side a bit so we got week 18 for supreme you know how we do this least result to most result and least hype to most hype so now how we're gonna do it normally start at camp caps but honestly one of the camp caps is pretty hype so we're gonna start off with the quilted sweatpants now at first i was kind of gassed for these sweatpants however after realizing what they actually are they are pretty disgusting. So pretty much they'll be retailing for approximately $148, dropping in multiple colors including red, brown, black, white, and blue. It's cotton fleece with diamond quilted pattern. If you guys can see closely, there's actually the quilted like dead ass like it's on a blanket I guess you could say or like something that you, something would get knitted. So this piece is not something I would actually rock myself. I thought I would. However, after looking at it, the material itself and the quality, it's just not for me. And I couldn't see myself rocking it. I wish Supreme did make some better pants this season because I think that's one of the categories they're definitely lacking in a lot. Everything else, honestly, I think they did a great job, especially accessories. I think they did great t-shirts, hoodies, anything. Uh, hoodies were kind of lacking as well. Jackets, eh, were all right. Next, move on to the patent leather patch camp cap. $48 expect the retail, dropping a multitude of colors, including a navy, red, black, burgundy, white, and blue. It's a debossed patent leather logo patch on front. Not really gassed on this piece at all, to be honest with you. It's something crazy. It's very brick worthy. It's most likely going to be sitting on the site for a very long time, along with the quilted sweatpants. A lot of stuff this week is going to be sitting on the site, and that's just how it's going to be, because that's everything else is just not hyped at all. Oh, and by the way, I'll be going to the DSM exclusive later on in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that, because that's also a big money maker. So next, we move on to the Supreme Shop, I think that's how you pronounce it, collab. Uh, it's the down leather vest puffy jacket. Now, this is a major flex piece. It's super loud. It's a custom fit nylon with downfill and cowhide leather front vest and back yoke. Full zip and snap front closures with two-way zip-off sleeves, wet welt hand pockets, and side pockets out over front made exclusively for Supreme. Of course, you know that's how it is to be doing it. Uh, so pretty much it's going to be dropping three different colorways, a gray, white, and black. 
Qualities looks absolutely sick and you could pretty much zip off the sleeves and just have a vest on if I can see this properly Oh, uh, this is honestly a big ass brick. And it's not gonna be going for no crazy money and It looks kind of whack if you guys look at it closely like the front patent type material I guess it's like kind of shiny on the side It's like a matte gray and matte black or whatever. It's not that shiny it looks kind of waterproof But with the retail of six hundred and twenty eight dollars probably the most expensive item of this week It's a big ass brick now that leads us on to another break, which is a knit stripe hooded long sleeve top. Now, a lot of people are counting that this is the Stoner Cali hoodie. And if you're out there, you know this is for you, but say no to drugs. So pretty much, it's an acrylic type of logo. As a logo on the left chesticle, I'm honestly not a big fan of this at all. Dropping three different colorways, including like this black, gray, beige, purple, and then this like multicolor of green, uh, burgundy, and green. I said green and blue, I should say. So this is a big ass brick as well. It retails $138. I don't see this going more for the retail. It's mostly going to be a big ass brick. A lot of these items are going to be bricks, so maybe you guys have a better chance of going manual this week. Maybe also Supreme turn off Pookie, which is the bot detection service because, you know, they really don't care. Normally at the end of the season, they could give two shits about bots. It's pretty much over the season. They don't care. That's what they did last season, and they just completely talk off bot detection and all bots were cooking. So that's why I'm kind of worried about the teddy bear, but we're going to go on to that later. Next, we'll on to the plaid front zip sweater this will be 198 expected retail dropping two different colorways it's a wool blend so it's dropping in like this super nice plaid this is my favorite plaid color design you could have the red one at least with the look like a natural colorway and then the black with red on blue it's a wool blend so it's great quality once again it has that color but i'm not really feeling the color at all i like normally hoods and i'm honestly not a big fan of crewnecks either that's why i wasn't too worried about not copping the box over crewnecks this week but this is expected retail of 198 dollars and it'll most likely go under retail next we'll on to the sherpa line denim shirt Dropping for $138, dropping in four different colorways, including a red, a denim, an orange, and a black. Uh, it's once again going to be another brick. A lot of these items are bricks. It's all cotton with Sherpa fleece lining, I should say. Uh, four different colorways. Honestly, my favorite is the denim, but I would not rock this myself. That leads us into the quilted hooded sweatshirt, dropping again the same different colorways as the quilted pants. Uh, it's cotton fleece with diamond quilted pattern. So if you guys look closely, there's absolutely zero branding on this hoodie. There's absolutely none, so that's how you already know it's going to be least hype. Because if you guys do recognize, a lot of the hoodies that do do great for resale always have big-ass branding. For example, box logos and boss box logo hoodies. Honestly, every single hoodie that has big-ass branding, you're most likely going to get at least retail for it, if not more. And if it doesn't, nobody really wants it because why are you going to spend over $150 on a hoodie that doesn't have any branding and you can't even recognize what it is unless you're onto that designer vibe, which, you know, that's where a lot of people are going. So this will be dropping the same colors as the sweatpants so you can pull off a perfect fit. And this will actually match the cam cap as well, so you can pull off the extreme fit if you really are feeling it. That leads us onto the logo repeat scarf. This is the first scarf and last scarf dropping of this week, the one and only. It's a wool blend scarf, 0.8 by 68 inches i think or centimeters inches it's definitely inches so it'll be three different colorways including a lime green looks like that gatorade type vibe we got brown on black and a red on navy look i can see that there's a box logo on it at the very end however it's still regardless not going to do great resale uh and it has like half and half upvotes downvotes if you guys don't know i'm using supremecommunity.com they're always the best they always be reposting my pictures and i appreciate them so much for that oh uh, there's some ogs out there they always be posting drop list price list and everything they always have the nicest and cleanest site that's at least in my opinion uh, so we got three different colorways retail on this scarf will be 88 dollars i don't see it going for more than 88 maybe even 100 but once again once you pay shipping and tax you do have to include that into a lot of your profit areas because that's going to take away from a lot of it especially after fees you're most likely going to end up losing money on this piece so that's three different colorways right there and then that leaves us into the three last supreme droplets for supreme week 18 we got the harris tweet camp cap and this was actually supposed to drop last week well it was at least rumored to drop last week dropping in five different colorways including a nice blue denim a red a brown a red on black and a pink so this kind of reminds me of the Jacquard uh, crew neck that I have. It's kind of like the pink one. It has dropped SS18. has Supreme written all over it. It's a pink one. I actually doubt that still. And price is going up. You know what I'm saying? Because that has huge branding on it. This matches it perfectly, especially the pink colorway right here. However, with a retail of $54 plus shipping plus deck, it's going to come out to about $70 or $64, depending where you live, of course. However, it's going to most likely be a brick as well because hats don't be doing no crazy numbers. Only the Woodland Camo ones, especially the Cordura collabs, bro, they be going like crazy the quarter of claps always be skyrocketing they'd be going for around 200 dollars i remember that happened on drop day so now 
what I gotta say, you guys know I've been trashing this hooded sweatshirt from Champion. And it's unfortunately, very unfortunately, actually coming out. Dropping in a multitude of colorways, including a black, red, navy, olive, yellow, it looks like a baby blue, and a magenta type purple. Comp fleece made exclusively for Supreme. This is the laziest design they could have ever done. I could have ever imagined them doing at all. So pretty much what they did, if you guys remember, in Champion Collabs, they normally have the tag on the bottom left. So they pretty much just took that tag, just made it huge, and put it on top of the hoodie, which is absolutely disgusting in my opinion. Like, why would you do this? I still have no idea because it's absolutely extremely lazy, and I really can't see any... I mean, I see people rocking it because it does technically have a box logo on it and does have Champion. I'm honestly not a huge Champion head myself. I'm more stick like to Supreme Palace, FTP, and all that type of stuff. Champion, it's more like comfort clothing for me at least. And it's $158 retail. I don't see it going for more than $168 maybe even under retail it depends of course the color but this is an item to stay away from even though it has a lot of upvotes and a lot of people say yo it's fire but if you guys gotta think look at the full drop list if this dropped with any other items like say tnf or anything this would be put into the dump like it'd be absolutely garbage the reason why it is so hyped well so hyped in air quotes is because there's no other hyped items dropping besides the teddy bear and that's the only thing people are going to be going for so that's the only reason why it does have certain upvotes so don't always go by upvotes because that could also be misleading and now finally ladies and gentlemen the time has finally finally come for the supreme style i love i'm pronouncing that right teddy bear because this is a german collab it's a bear with synthetic fill and cotton fleece hooded sweatshirt so <laughs> And I know number one question is, is this stitched? It is stitched to the bear. There's actually multiple pictures and videos showing that it is stitched completely. It does have that yellow tag on the ear, so that's you know it's the official digital drip. Uh, it's pretty much a teddy bear featuring the box logo hooded sweatshirt, almost as hyped as actual hooded sweatshirt. So this item is a brief time for $178, $176-ish. As a result, it's going to be very hyped because it was supposedly originally, people were saying $350, then it went down to $278, $300 around that mark. Now people say it's $178. So that's according to Drops by Giant Sub Community. I honestly thought it would be retailing for quite a bit more money. I did not think it was going to be this cheap. So I do trust a little bit more because they know what's good. They normally have early leaks and they normally know people from the actual company themselves that actually get this stuff early. So one last item. I expect resale. <laughs> Man, reselling this is going to be high. If you guys look at that Palace teddy bear, that shit skyrocketed like crazy. And retail that was already way more higher than this teddy bear. So retail 178, I expect this to go out to four to 500. I would like everyone to keep it at 700 if you do cop. Because honestly, I do not want this for myself. But if I do cop, I want to get that bread in. Because, you know, Christmas time is here. And, you know, you got to get your money up. So that's about it. Oh, one last item. Actually, I forgot the DSM exclusive Supreme t-shirt. So this will be only exclusive to DSM NY. It'll be available to DSM NY in store. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go down this Thursday because of unforeseen circumstances. Uh, but pretty much what will be featuring is some cake on it. It has a little Supreme box logo on the bottom of the picture as well as DSM. So basically, they're doing this for the exclusive job for uh, DS Dover Street Market's anniversary. If you guys don't know, it's located on Lexington Ave and something else in New York. I forgot exactly. But it's not that hard to figure out. I think sign -ups are already closed. I think you, also if you sign for Supreme Lafayette, you might end up going to DSM. And this is the only time that it's actually good to get into DSM, which is mad funny because nobody ever wants to get into DSM because they have the most limited stock. And normally every single time the employees take all the limited stock anyways. So that's about it for me, guys. I would expect that retail on the t-shirt to be $54. I expect it to go to $125 because once again, it is exclusive to DSM. It will not most likely be dropping on Supreme. It might actually be dropping on Supreme site, but most likely not. And of course, DSM is a Shopify site. So you know bots about to eat that shit like crazy. So that's about it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, subscribe, hit that box logo down below. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. And without further ado, good luck tomorrow. Make sure you stay tuned for my live cop. And tomorrow I'll be uploading the origin story Jordan 1 review. I got all three sizes. So we lit. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.